Carlos Salasco next <laughs> in Fox. I What's saw going on, I'm, Michael? I'm doing good, but I think you're doing a lot better because this show is amazing. Oh, wow. Thank you, thank you so much character. for saying that. Um, <clears throat> well, first of all, thank you for having me. Thank you for Muse TV for having me on. Um, like you said, next is... It's a crazy show. It's a, there's a lot going on. It's a fast paced thriller. Um, I play the character of Ty Salazar and um, he's a stay at home dad at the moment, which is really, really cool. It's something we don't see often where a Latino man gets to stay at home and take care of the, of the, of the family and the kid. And his wife is, is, a, is a badass FBI cybersecurity agent who's at the moment literally trying to save the world. Yeah. Um, and Ty's okay with it. He's okay being at home and letting her have the spotlight. And, you know, he, he really, throughout the, I don't know how much of the show you've seen, but throughout the show, he's really focused on, on taking care of himself and, and ultimately taking care of his son, who's, who's also at risk. Yeah. Well, to let you know, I've seen five episodes of the show already. <laughs> Man, you got to see five? I got to see five. And wow. Wow. This like this is one of those shows where like back Did you see the them season, all? I've seen them all. And I haven't seen the all the whole season. I've only seen up to that fifth episode. Man, I talked to somebody the other day and I was like, Did you get to see this show? And she was like, I saw a little bit. And I was like, You didn't see the show. Yeah. You don't just see a little bit uh -uh. of the show. <laughs> and in this show, in this show, it pulls you in every single week. I had told Fernanda, like, this is gonna be the new what they used to call a water cooler show. This is definitely okay. going to be one of those shows for uh, That's amazing, man. I'm so what happy that, that you had a good reaction and, and that it really like hit you hard. I mean, yeah, I think that's, that's, that's ultimately what we were going for is, is to create something that, that, you know, our lives are so intertwined with technology already. Mm -hmm. And we're already thinking about how technology is invading our lives. Like we're aware of it. But when you get to see it, and as we were reading these scripts, it just made it so much more real. So ultimately, we hope that while people are watching the show, there's this element of like, damn, like, we're really living this. Like, this could really happen. Mm -hmm. And that's the one thing, like, is crazy watching the show. There's so much I wish I could say, but we can't talk about it too much. We'll spoil <laughs> a lot, but it's like, but it's like, there's so much of an intelligence into the show. Yeah. Where it gets the viewer listening and want to participate in trying to solve what the riddle is of the show. What do you think about where, when you're a part of a show where really it's kind of very, feels very interactive for the audience? In what way though? In what way do you feel like it's, I think, it's interactive? I think it makes you wonder and guess where everything is coming from. Like what those clues are to who, what is the AI? Who is leading yeah. the AI? from the creation well, i think the ai the ai in general i think even when i even when i got the script and i read the script and even you know because you know we go one episode at a time it's not like to give us in this case all 10 episodes and this is the world of the show it's not like it's a film so i was kind of like man well what what is ai for real like how like how is the ai going to be the bad guy in this how is how is that the villain and once you once you start kind of like exploring and doing the research and listening to these podcasts and, you know, having the conversations with our creator and our writer, Manny Cotto, um, it's really, it's everything. AI is everything, man. I mean, AI is technology, you know, you know, people don't realize it, but just opening up, you know, your iPhone and, and when you search for somebody's name, you know, you type in A and every, and everybody that starts with the letter A comes up or every application that starts with A comes up. That's, that's AI. That's artificial intelligence in our phones. It doesn't have to be robots and all these things. Like it's like it's everything is AI is embedded in everything we're doing and everything that's that we're seeing and, and living. So I think that once I mean, like you, I was I was when we're reading these scripts, I'm just an audience member reading it for the first time and and, and being thrown into this this crazy world. And I'm like, well, I kind of understand, but I don't. Yeah. Um, but do I really want to? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> um, so it's, uh, yeah, I think they did a really good job and kind of, even though it is, it's very serialized, even though it's, it's a network TV show, it's, de it's, it's definitely not a procedural. So every episode is kind of, um, you kind of have to know where you're coming from. It's one of those shows you can't just watch one episode at a time. You kind of have to understand the world and 
to get to see the arc of the characters and where they're coming from, especially John Slattery's character, Paul, to understand like what he's struggling with throughout the show. And um, because he is struggling with an illness um, that, you know, obviously I can't say too much about it, but um, it really, it really concerns the state of his state and also the state of the world because of what he's dealing with. Yeah. And the one thing I really loved about the show is your relationship who, with the person who plays your son, Ethan Salazar. Yeah. Um, Evan. Evan. You guys do a, you really play off each other very well, especially as you go into the episodes and you start seeing this sense of danger amongst yeah. them. Uh, what was it like performing off of each other, especially uh, in the, some of the scenes are really difficult to. You know what, it's always, it's always, it's, first of all, it's always difficult when, when you're thrown into the elements, you know, I had never been, uh, I never spent a winter. I've never lived through a winter in my life. So like I was shooting in Chicago and during the winter. So it was cold. Most of my stuff is all shot on location as you've seen most of the episodes. And you know, it, my character and my son's character suddenly take a turn at about episode two. And, um, and him and I just really had each other to go off of, you know, and it's, and it's luckily Evan is such a, he's such a smart kid mm-hmm. and he's so, he's able to really, once we're in it and once they say action, he's really able to like stay in that and really live it, which is, which is just amazing. I mean, as an actor, as an adult, you're like, God, I wish I could just play like that within these scenes and just live like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was, it was great because him and I had so much time together. There was no distractions of him getting to hang out with other people. Mm-hmm. He only had me to hang out with. Yeah. I don't even know if I'm saying too much at this point, but um, so it was, it was, we really had a nice relationship throughout, throughout the series and throughout shooting the show. So, so we really made that work and we really made, you know, moments that are supposed to be heightened and, and dangerous. You know, there's always this sense of levity and as I'm not a parent, but I think I know enough people that are parents and I think of my parents and, and what they would do in situations like this. And ultimately it's, how do you distract them from the danger? How do you distract them from knowing that our lives are truly at risk? So there's, there's elements of, even though there's, there's a lot of danger, there's elements of, of a playfulness that I think was very important to me to play and really important for me to, to dial up as we were working together. Yeah. And that's one thing I love about this, the whole cast. It really pulls you into great acting, giving you great writing. Uh, and once you, after you, like you've mentioned, when you read the scripts, has it changed your mind about ever buying an Alexa or using Siri ever again? <laughs> you know, that's, that's the question everybody asks. It's like, did you guys all unplug your, your Alexa when you, when you, after you guys read the script? And, and to be honest, no. Oh. No, I'm a sucker for technology. I love technology and, and those things are so useful. I, I think I'm more mindful of like, I noticed stuff about Alexa that I'm like, I didn't prompt her to say anything there and now she's talking or like I notice how she gets smarter like I'm, I'm really noticing like sometimes she'll start saying my girlfriend talks to Alexa a lot and she's super kind to her which is interesting I'm like why are you so nice to her you always say thank you and please like just it's a robot you know and uh, but Alexa started learning how she spoke and would say words that she would say not necessarily to Alexa but you know maybe the thing's listening so it's like it's yeah, it's super, it's super scary, but at the same time, I don't know how we can avoid it. Yeah, exactly. And Harari- well, You mentioned the cast, by the way. Yeah. I, I, how rad is our cast? Like, I, like, we got so lucky having the cast that we got and, and everybody really just gets along really, really well. Um, yeah, kudos to the, to the casting department yeah. over at Fox and Disney, man. They, they crushed it. Yeah, they did a great job. And to wrap everything up, I really think this is going to be one of the shows that is really going to highlight Fox's lineup. I mean, there's wow, a lot, thank great, you, there's a lot thank of great so shows much. out on Fox this, this year. Your yeah. show is definitely coming from, and not being biased because I went to a technical high school and I got a degree in computer science and electronics. Oh, amazing. <laughs> but, but, Where did you go to high school? I went to Don Bosco Technical Institute in Rosemead, California. That LA, your local LA? Yeah, we're a local LA and a bunch of... Uh, Latinos, Filipinos. that's so interesting, you know, in, in El because I'm from El Salvador mm-hmm. and we have a, a we have a Don Bosco a high school in yeah. El Salvador, Don Bosco. Yeah, it's yeah, part it's of a, 
it's like a uh, brother school connection within around the world. There's different boxing wow. effects and we all help each other out. But um, yeah, this show is going to be amazing. So you saw it and you were just like, oh, oh I, get, yeah. I get it. I'm in it. And like, uh-huh. let's go. Like, give exactly. me more. Exactly. And we've always knew about what the potential, if it got into the wrong hands, what it could do. Wow. What it could become. And that's one thing that I love about this show. It really makes you think, really makes you see a different side. I think you do an amazing job. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the season. Thank you. So thank you so much for talking with us. I really people, appreciate it. A computer science degree also kind of. Yeah. Yeah. But thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, Michael. Have a good one. And you too. I'll see you soon.